we're gonna get started today with uh, just another short workout. Um, we'll start with the foot bar and three springs. You might regret that, but it'll be okay. Um, make sure your foot bar is locked in. We will be using the rebounder today. Friendly for 39 weeks pregnant as well. If you are pregnant, be mindful of lying down on your back. If it makes you dizzy, you can prop your head up. Um, I might do that today as well. Take your time. Get on your back. All right, perfect. So we're going to start with uh, toes on the foot bar. Lift the heels nice and high. Legs are parallel. Inner thighs squeezing nice and tight together. Reach your shoulders down. Inhale, send the carriage back. Exhale to pull it in. We've got eight, six, five, four. We'll see if the baby likes this. Three, two, hold it at the back. Drop the heels under the foot bar and lift. Drop and lift for eight, seven, six, five, four. Hug those toes. Two, one, good, bend the knees, bring it all the way back in. Keep the heels together, step the toes apart so you're in your Pilates V or first position. Inhale, press it back, exhale to pull it together. Heels are squeezing together, pressing into one another. Five more here, five, four, three, two, Hold it here, keep the heels together, press them down and punch them up high, down and lift for seven, six, five, four, ooh three, two, one. Bend those knees, bring it back in. That's where we start to regret those three sp straight springs. Knees out, toes out, heels up, push it back and bring it down for seven, six, Five, four, three, heels are turned in, two, send it all the way back right into those calf raises, seven, ah, six, five, four, three, two, one, ooh, bring it all the way in. Last set here, we have medial rotation. So heels are flicking out towards the side corners, knees are together, inner thighs, squeezing when you bend the knees back in. They'll separate naturally on the way back. Here we go for six, five, four. Remember, still looking for that tiny mouse hole under the low back. Two, one, hold it here, press it down and reach for seven, six, ah, five, four, three, two, one. Bend those knees, come all the way back in, good. So, whatever kind of headrest situation you're working with, we're gonna lower it down. If you are pregnant and you get sick lying on your back or dizzy, just skip this part. We're gonna go into hip bridges. So heels are on the foot bar. I'm gonna take my legs a little wider to make room for uh, my center. Reach your hands past the waist. Exhale, squeeze the butt, squeeze the belly, roll up. We're trying not to move the carriage here. Exhale, scoop and curl down one vertebrae at a time. Release the pelvis entirely. Exhale, lift up, up, up. Remember your heels are on the foot bar here. We're still on those three springs. If you're really feeling your glutes firing, squeeze the glute or squeeze the, if you're feeling your hamstrings firing, squeeze your glutes a little more. One more here and then we'll add on. Lift it up to the top, we're pushing it back for four, three, two, one. Bring it all the way back in, curl it down, scoop, 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 scoop. Good. Drop those knees over to one side, just stretch out that low back. Over to the other side. All right, here we go. Same thing with the legs, we're keeping them parallel. Reach the hands down, readjust the shoulders. Inhale and we'll take it up to the top. Once you get to the top, pull that knee in towards the chest, 
Put it back down. Opposite side and down. For eight. Seven. Six. Try not to move that carriage. Five. Keep it up. Four. We're going to pause at the end. We'll commit to it now. Two. One more on each side. Stay here. We're pulsing up for eight, seven, six, squeeze, five, four, three, two, one. Curl it on down nice and slow. Ugh, good job. Drop those knees over to one side, drop them over to the other side. We're going to roll on to our sides. So we're going to change it to... Um, Let's do one spring, one spring, so kind of light. We're gonna take our elbow through the headrest. We'll push away with that bottom foot. You're gonna take your foot and put it through the strap. And you're gonna take it all the way up to that knee. Okay, all the way up to the knee. So from here, you wanna make sure your back is Nice and flat against the back of the machine. Your heels are together, your knees are together. Belly button is tight. We're lifting up that top knee for eight, seven. We're about to party. Six, five, good, four. I think in my head I had planned arms today, but we'll get there. Three, good, two, hold it here. Lift the heel up and lower both down. Lift and lower for seven. Six, focus on that top hip. Five, keep that belly button in nice and tight. Three, two, hold it here. Now we're gonna push it back over top of the foot bar and bring it right back in for six. Good. Three, two, Whew. hold it here. Point the toe, sweep it forward, flex the heel, bring it back, kick. Four, three, slow and steady, two, one. Now we have to reverse. Bring the knee in, kick it forward, sweep it back. Bring the knee in, kick it forward, sweep it back. And last one here. Ah, okay, now we're gonna bring it to the front corner, turn your toe down towards the floor, kick the floor, kick the ceiling for six, five. Make all the faces. Three, two, and one. Ah! Bring it all the way back in. Okay. So however it makes sense for you to get out of that strap. And then we're gonna go over to the other side. So we're gonna grab that other strap. I'm gonna end up kicking you right in the face in this angle here, but we'll fix it after we're, we're done. So we're gonna push away from that bottom foot we're going to get in the strap. Okay, so heels are together, knees are in, back is in line. And here we go, lift and down. Good, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now we lift both and lower both. Three, four. Keep those hips working. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now we push over and straight back and pull it back in. Over and back. Five. Four, three, two, and one. Sweep it forward, kick it back. Sweep it forward, remember we only have four of these, two more, flex it, kick it back. Oh, and last one, now reverse. Bring it forward, sweep it back. Three, 
almost there. Two and one. Now we take it forward, turn the toe down, kick and lift for six, five. Holy smokes! Two and one. Ah! <laughs> All right. I think maybe you guys probably did that better than I did, but it was tough, and that's what makes it fun. All right, let's get set up for our arm series here. So we will keep um, one spring the same. Since we're already here with the camera, I'll just adjust us a little bit here. Oh, look at that. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna start kneeling. This is um, one of my favorite series for arms here, um, mainly because it focuses on back of those shoulders um, and we don't we don't get those a lot so we'll kneel on the knees um, I do I have um, short legs so I'm able to put my toes at the back of the machine here see how that feels for you you also have the option of lifting up off the hips here okay so I'm gonna stay down so that I can focus on the arms but lifting up is gonna be a little bit more for your core, okay? So big inhale here. We're gonna open this straight out to the side and it is kind of grippy. So big inhale here, exhale, open and pull. Good. So we've got six more. Six. Again, we've got one spring on, five. Eyes follow your hand. Four. Three straight out to the side two one just like that okay so now we're gonna place our hand on the shoulder block here we are gonna lift up we're gonna put our hand right on our forehead sorry I'm gonna cut this off here but we're gonna look down and we're going straight up for triceps okay so straight up for eight we've got six more four three two, one. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So I'm gonna move the camera again and we're gonna take it all the way back here. Okay, we're gonna grab above the knot, depending on how strong you are is how much you're gonna grab there. But we're gonna lean over, hips are square and we're pulling straight back for triceps for eight, seven, six, five, look straight down into the well, four, three, two, and one. Awesome, awesome, awesome. All right, so we're gonna go straight into the other side here. We'll reverse it so that we don't have to transition as uh, much here. Okay, so we're holding on tight. We've got eight, seven, six. This arm's a little weaker. Five, four, a lot weaker. <laughs> Three, keep your belly button in tight. Back is flat. Two, make sure you're not rounding out that spot. And last one, sweet baby Jesus. That was harder than I thought it was gonna be. Kneeling on your hips, grab nice and snug. We're opening out to the side. Again, this side was a little weaker on the triceps and I think I'm noticing I'm a little weaker on this as well. So we've got five more here, five. This is really heavy. So if this isn't working for you, you can lengthen the strap a little bit. You can also cheat a little bit with your opposite hand. You can literally cheat a little bit. That is okay. Two, good, one more here. And last one, good. Now we're gonna get up off the knees or off the hips. Your palm is to the back of your forehead. You're still pushing the hips forward. So you don't wanna be back in the hips. You want the hips pressing forward look down at the floor and then this elbow goes straight up towards the sky and press it up Ooh, if you have a wedding ring on watch out just got bit <laughs> all right here we go 
eight, seven. Oh my goodness, this is so much harder. Six, what has happened, left arm? Five, four, and if you need to come down with it, you can, it'll make it a little bit easier. Three, two more here, two, last one. Big push, big push, big push. Good job, good job, good job. All right, and I promised some rebounder, so take a second here, I'm gonna pause. We're gonna take off the foot bar and put on the rebounder, okay? Okay, so once your rebounder is on, if you have a sticky pad, um, you wanna use those. All this is is my cupboard liner. <laughs> That's all that is. So um, I've got on shiny pants, which make me slide a little bit, and we are gonna be jumping. Um, we won't be lying down or all the way at the back, so I just don't wanna slide. I also have two and a half pound weights, plates, um, that I want to use. You don't have to have weights, um, but if you do, um, it's fun, you can add it on. Two cans of soup also work if you don't have any weights at home but you wanna use them. And we're gonna sit up nice and tall. Um, let's do two springs for now. We'll see how that goes. We'll put these plates back here behind us. We'll hold on to the shoulder blocks to get started. Wiggle your bum forward enough that you've got enough space. If you're making room for your center, do whatever you need to do here by taking your knees out nice and wide. Um, but we'll just start jumping. Okay. Again, I've only got two springs on. It's not super hard here. We'll get there, I promise. Eight more here, eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good. I need to scoot myself up a little bit. It's going to be very hard to get in, but that's okay. All right, so we've got eight more of these. We're jumping with a twist. Eight, seven, six, five. Keep your core nice and tight. Four three, two, and one. Good. Now we're going to grab those weights if you want or don't. We're just going to make little jumping jacks. So arms go out and the feet go out. Here we go. Eight, seven, six. Back is staying nice and tall. Five, good. Four, three, two, one. Excellent. All we're gonna do now is tuck one foot in, however that works. We're just jumping with one. We'll take the arms straight up when we jump back with this one leg. All right, here we go. Eight, seven, six. Should feel it more in the hip than anywhere else. Five, four, three, two, one. That hip should be talking to you. Now we're gonna take that toe out to the side when we jump for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, I know I'm banging a lot, two, and one, good. That was all hip for me. I don't know about you, but that was a lot of hip. So now we're gonna switch sides, jumping straight, arms go up, and then we'll take that foot out to the side. I'm gonna scoop my bum up a little bit more be a little unfair to the other side, but that's okay. All right, here we go. Straight back, straight up for eight, seven, six, five, four. Keep that core nice and tight. Three, two, one. Now foot goes out to the side for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, excellent. Bring it all the way back in. All right, I'm gonna put these weights down. I'm gonna stay here, straighten my arms back, lift my chest up nice and high, and I am just going to jump for one minute straight. All right guys, so that's all for today's mini workout. Um, around 20 minutes for you. 
I hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see you again honestly after this is gone and we have a little baby in our arms um, but maybe we'll get one or two or a couple more in so have fun with it have a good day